Hi Lars Etterup, you are the CEO of Linkfire. First of all, congratulations on Monday's IPO. Could you please describe what Linkfire do? Yes, thanks a lot. Uh, it's been really wonderful. Um, Linkfire, yes, um, we work with record labels and artists. Uh, we have built the biggest marketing platform for the music industry and what we help with is we make links there of our wonderful name link fire uh, why is uh, what do we build links for uh, we build links for any product that an artist or a record label would like to sell so that is typically the song or, or the album but it can also be the the ticket or the t-shirt or uh, the live stream really and so they will use our platform whenever they want to create a link that they want to use online for promotions so that can be links that they push on social media <clears throat> on an email, on advertisement and so on. And what is wonderful about our links is that whenever a fan or a consumer click on one of our links, we present with different options on where they can go and consume or buy uh, the actual song or the, or the album and so on. So if you click on a link in Sweden, most likely you will be presented with Spotify as an option. But if you click on the link somewhere else in the world, you would then see different options. And it's actually quite a a, a strong value proposition for these big uh, artists. Uh, if you are Justin Bieber and you have 200 million fans across 200 different countries, there are many different places where you as a fan can enjoy uh, his songs and so on. So we basically help with that. And we do that at very big scale. So we work with all the major record labels uh, worldwide and therefore also a lot of the biggest artists that, that you know, well-known no names that you know and so and that means it's yeah it's we have a really strong position in in the market you just mentioned justin bieber do you do you work with him could you give us some examples of artists and the record labels you work with yes i mean i don't work directly with justin bieber i work with justin bieber's team but yes he is uh, he's uh, one of those i mean uh, in general if you look at uh, let's say the the billboard top 100 uh, you know all the biggest names we work with over 90 percent of all the artists there uh, so that is anything from yeah justin bieber Katy perry drake um anyone you see uh, Billie Eilish, Selena Gomez, any ones that you see are like hitting the charts, uh, they will use our links whenever they are promoting uh, any of their, their products. And why do they choose to work with your links? What's special with your platform and how do you differ from your peers? Yes, a uh, good question. I mean, we've uh, focused uh, very early on, we focused on creating a really, really strong product that would service the needs, not just from the uh, from an artist like Justin Bieber, uh, but also from the record label and the team behind him. So we build a, a, a product that is easy for them to use. It takes a few milliseconds and then we produce all the links they need for their marketing campaigns. And we then provide them with really, really strong data on the back uh, of, of all the links so they can see who clicked on the link, where did they go, and what happened uh, after they clicked on the link, and so on. And so we just pre pre created a platform that is really, really powerful, and that, that fits uh, their needs. And, um, you know, we started back in, in Denmark, working with the, uh, the local record labels, and then really quickly we grew our adoption, you know, went international early on. All right, so let's talk about um, some financials. Uh, you have a financial target of achieving 50 to 70 percent organic growth annually um, and a gross margin of 80 percent. How do you uh, work to achieve these uh, goals? Yes, so I mean we have two revenue streams to our business. On one hand we have a subscription uh, part of our business so record labels and artists uh, pay to use uh, our platform um, and we can see that there is many more artists and uh, record labels out there for us so that we can continue uh, the growth uh, there so that's for us is to get more adoption within the industry uh, more artists to use the platform uh, we're also seeing that our platform is starting to be used across uh, adjacent uh, entertainment verticals. So we are working with film studios, we're working with podcasts as well. So it's not just music, it's it's more, it's starting to become more entertainment uh, broader. Uh, so that's obviously a growth area for us. 
And then we are seeing that whenever someone clicks on our links, we take the fan uh, into uh, streaming services or ticketing shops or, or anywhere where they can buy or consume the product. And that uh, the traffic, the amount of uh, fans that we send into these services have just kept uh, growing. And what the, and we are now at the last year, we were at 1.5 billion uh, fans that clicked on our links. And we can see that we can actually start monetizing a little bit more on that. So we are negotiating different agreement with the streaming services, with the ticketing services, so that whenever we help uh, their business grow, uh, we also uh, get a commission on the back of that. And that is actually uh, approximately 25% of our, of our business now, and that is growing way fast. And so these are the two revenue streams where we're going to keep uh, growing our platform, but we're also going to increasingly monetize more on the traffic or the amount of fans that click on our links. And so 50 to 70 percent growth, it's a it's a organic uh, growth. So it's really uh, yeah, focusing on those initiatives, focusing on on growing our traffic and monetizing more on our traffic. Um, if we take our Q1 numbers, we were at 57 to 57 percent growth. Um, and here we actually saw uh, our commission part or the one where we monetize on the traffic uh, growing over 200 percent. And so we can see that our subscription revenue would continue growing at a, at a healthy and steady pace, but we can also see that our commission will, will we expect it to double every year uh, from now on. Mm. And then, yes, sorry, sorry to gross margin. Um, <clears throat> yes, we, we've gone out and mentioned that, that, we, that we are a high gross margin company. It doesn't cost us very much to, to run our traffic. Sometimes our gross margin on the traffic is all the way up at 95%. And so we're also quite comfortable to, to, to go out and say, look, we'll be around 80%. So, so we'll be a high gross margin business. Mm. And what other areas could uh, smart links be, be used? In what other areas? I mean, what we've seen initially, we went to market with a solution for for the record labels and the artists, and so that helped the record labels, it helped the artists, and it most certainly also helped the fans. You click on a link, you don't need to leave the app you're in. You just get a really good experience, and then you can go straight into Spotify if that's what you wanted. And we're actually starting to realize that there are many more use cases. It doesn't have to be a a promotion by an artist or or a label. It can actually be uh, you uh, listening to a song somewhere and you would like to have a link so uh, where can I save this in my library where can I buy it can I f find a ticket and so there's many of these aha moments or discovery moments and and we're starting to partner up with different uh, social media applications websites um, so we for example have partnerships with snapchat and with twitch and here it's more like it's not a promotion it's more of a user engagement it's part of that experience you, you send a snap to someone else and there's a song in that you can then click further on to link if you want to in twitch is is more you are you're watching someone streaming there's music playing in the background oh that's a nice song where can i find the song into link fire so we are we're trying so we have this really really strong technology that kind of is a is a search engine. We know where all the music is already, and so whether it's a link for an artist or whether it's uh, an integration into a, a a social media partner, it's a it's the same service that we offer. It's just a different use case, so to say. Mm -hmm. And are you looking for any new smart links uh, verticals right now? Yes, as, as I mentioned, so we're, we're broadening out in a different use cases. So it's not just promotions, but it's also user engagement. And then we are working uh, with all the major film studios at the moment. So, so that is a focus of ours. When we started working with the music industry, we uh, focused on working with the major record labels. So we had to focus early on on yeah, some some would say the boring stuff, but but compliance, security, uh, security, uh, privacy. These are things that are very dear to us, and we we have a really uh, strong position there. And when we start moving into other entertainment verticals, when we speak with the big film studios and so on, these are obviously some of the things that they value very highly as well. So so we have a good starting point when we move in there. So that's what we are doing at the moment. And why should a music streaming uh, platform partner with Linkfire? What uh, what do they gain? Yes, I mean obviously we uh, we help them uh, uh, send a lot of users uh, their way, uh, so either new users or existing users. 
and that is obviously part of the value proposition. We make uh, the journey super easy uh, for a consumer or a fan. So whether they're an existing user somewhere, no problem. We just make the path super smooth for you. Um, uh, or if you're a new user, we can help you find the way as well. So that is obviously a strong value proposition for, for the partners. Uh, the whole market is growing. Uh, they are growing their business as well. And we just want to be a value driver in, in, that, in that ecosystem, so to say. Mm, and we have already talked about some financials, but what are your overall goal? What, what is your future plans with Linkfire? Yes, so so I mentioned a, a big number that we connect 1.5 billion uh, fans or consumers last year. I mean, the goal is obviously that this is not a yearly number, that this is a monthly or weekly number. If you look at what is the potential, how many fans can we help in the world find more music? The potential is really what a music fan or a teenager clicks on in, in a year. You know, there's so much potential where we can help smoothen that path uh, and, and and really, so we, we see this is where we want to be. We want to be kind of ubiquitous or omnipresent. Whenever there's music, we want to be the one helping people uh, go into the different services or tickets and so on. Perfect. Thank you very much, Lars. Cool. Thank you.